Happy Friday, traders. Welcome to another trading video. I'm your host, The Option Addict from www.optionaddict.net. I know it's been a while since we've gotten into my series of trading videos, but based on a lot of the questions that have been floating around there lately, I decided I'm going to do just a quick tutorial on building watch lists and how I go about finding all the stock patterns and the trade ideas that I do every single week. Now, there's a couple of tools that we're going to use here to go over some of my ideas. First off, I'm on my trading platform right now, which happens to be Thinkorswim. And I'm on the Profit tab where we get access to some of our Java charts. Now, what you can do is just right on your trading platform, you see a little tab here over on the left-hand side that says My Watch Lists. You can build watch lists here. How I suggest you go about doing that is first you're going to have to do a lot of work. You're going to have to go through and start scanning sectors and looking at groups and starting to whittle down to some of the, you know, let's say higher profile stocks in that group. For example, earlier today I talked about solar companies. Well, we know that there's a lot of companies out there, small cap, large cap, volatile, not volatile, cheap, expensive, optionable, not optionable stocks that are in that particular space. Now, one of the best resources that I recommend you spending some time on is Yahoo Finance. And if you look at the page that I'm on here right now, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so you can see the URL. Biz, B-I-Z dot Yahoo dot com forward slash P. And what this is here is this is the sector page where you can go into all the different market sectors via basic materials, conglomerates, consumer goods, financials, healthcare, industrial goods, services, technology, and the old utes. You can start looking at all the companies they're in. So let's say, for example, if I were going to go into, I don't know, let's say financials. Once you get here, you can see that it's broken up into different classifications, different what I like to call groups, whether it's asset management, close-end funds, uh, credit services, insurance brokers, so on and so forth. Now you can see each sector is going to be segregated into a lot of groups. And despite the amount of work that it's going to take to get this set up right, it is well worth it. So what you do is let's say you go through We'll pick a group here and let's say it's going to be insurance brokers. Well, now that we're here, we can see all the different companies. This one happens to be pretty small. You can sort these or you can look at uh, data that Yahoo provides for you. But what I do is I, I've gone through and I've looked at all the ticker symbols. And what I've done is I've created my own personal lists based on the stocks that I like to trade. So, you know, for instance, you don't see me touting a lot of stocks that are under, let's say, you know, 20 bucks a share. I try to stay away from those that are fairly illiquid, so let's say quarter million shares on average, bare minimum. But what you want to do is you want to spend some time going through these companies and then sort out those that you like. So once you've done that, once you've broken it down to the group of companies in a sector, and you might end up coming up with hundreds. You guys know I've told you that I've got over 4,000 stocks that I'm now searching on a weekly basis. But what you do is you jot those down, and then what you can do is go back into your trading platform here and you can uh, right click on new watch list and create a new watch list so let's say if I want to break down the technology sectors and go into some solar stocks I can title my watch list solars and once I've created my watch list titled solars well now I can go through and start looking at the solar stocks so for example if I'm looking at first solar and I can see that this is a fairly liquid stock it's above you know my criteria as far as pricing is concerned and volume and Maybe you like fundamentals, maybe you're more focused on some of the technicals, like for instance, trend or whatnot. Once I've got it pulled up, I can go over to my watch list, right click, and I can add current symbol into watch list. Once I've done that, I can now click on solars. I can open that up and I'll see first solar. Let's say if I continue to go down the list and I'm looking at WFR, for instance, and I like this stock, I can keep continuing this process as I'm sorting through the group. The symbols that I like, I can just simply add them here to my watch list. And then I can click on these charts and I can go through and look at them every single day. Now, here that might end up being kind of a uh, time-consuming endeavor. While I do like the idea of having 
your watch lists here on your online platform so that really you don't have to go too many places. There are plenty of other services out there. While we're looking at profit here, I'm going to bring up their website. I can go onto the Manage tab and click on Watch Lists. Now once I'm here, I can also create a list in profit. So let's say if I want to do a watch list here, this might save you a little bit of time. But I can create one titled Solars and I can also add my symbols here. So if I want to add them all at one time, FSLR, CSIQ, let's say TSL, LDK, I can simply add them all at one time and you'll see that they simply pop up here. Now I'm going to scroll over here just a little bit and once I've done that you can see as I scroll down I've got thumbnail charts here and now let's say if I'm a day trader I like the idea of maybe having a one day chart but you know as a swing trader I like to see a little more data so usually I've got a thumbnail of about six months or so and eh, maybe even a year depending on the trend of the market and I can simply scroll down and now I've got thumbnail charts on the stocks in that group. Now for those of you that follow my watch list you know that I'm very visual so if you'd like to sort through charts in the same manner that I do I suggest you create multiple lists with multiple symbols get as many as you can and utilize thumbnail charts that way you can scroll down quickly through as many charts as you possibly can in the shortest period of time and just look at the technicals I mean all I'm doing is looking at recent activity as I scroll down I mean obviously I can see the uh, nice little triangle pattern that's formed in first solar I can see that Trina Solar TSL now trading in new lows that's where I was watching the uh, the breakdown of the stock and simply put, I mean, that is all I'm really looking for. So like I said, I suggest that you create as many as you can to get, let's say, at least the top 10, 20 different companies out of each group based on your standards. You know, whether it be some of the technicals, the fundamentals, the price, the liquidity, you choose. But I also recommend that you create watch lists for ETFs, not just indices and sectors, but also emerging markets and currency funds and Get as many charts out there as you can because, number one, it's going to give you a broader view of how the market's performing, and it's also going to be an easy, pre-filtered way to find good trades. So that'll wrap it up. Hopefully that's given you a few ideas here. If you have any questions, you can feel free to submit your comments. I will try to add more trading videos as the topics arise because, obviously, a five-minute audio clip beats a 30-minute essay. So that'll do it for me, folks. Hopefully that's been helpful. Thanks for watching the tutorial on how to create watch lists. And happy trading. Listen. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open.